What's poppin' YouTube? It's a boy Tyrone And I know a lot of y'all been saying Tyrone, I wanna know what you eat Cause I wanna become a shredded motherfucker And I'm like, guys, I got you guys like I got my homie In the streets well, I'm playing anyways But anyways, if you guys wanna become shredded as me Today I'm gonna show you a mood What I have And if you guys wanna cook this at home Make sure you guys have rice Brown rice, yeah I said it Brown rice Make sure you guys have brown rice Coconut oil, ground beef, okay, Brussels sprouts, yellow pepper, tomatoes, carrots, barbecue sauce, dash spice, garlic spices, barbecue spices, and cayenne pepper. It's so simple. A lot of people think. It's hard to become shred. It's not, guys. That's why I'm here. Because all what we want is results, baby. And results don't lie. Check this out. Results don't lie. Enough talking. Let's go straight into it. And let's start cooking. So the first thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to cook my Brussels sprouts. So... I'm going to take my Brussels sprouts and I'm going to boil them at least for 20 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes. Cause all what we want is to come shredded. That's a motherfuck. That's all what we want, baby. So I'm gonna boil it for 25 minutes or 20. So I want you guys to do the same thing at home also. Okay, the next thing is we're gonna start chopping our carrots and yellow pepper. And then after that, we're gonna go straight to the ground beef. Okay. And by the way, these are all washed. So, a lot of people tell me, like Tyrone, like, is it is it really true that to get results, it's about what you eat? And I always tell them, yeah, it's the truth. To keep it real. Because a lot of people think you guys can eat anything and become shredded. You you guys could, but you might you may not look shredded. Though. You might you be, you be having a pot belly, but we don't want that. So now I'm cutting the carrots. So this is what I normally do. Just chop them up a bit. There we go. So guys, remember, feel free, comment below if you guys don't understand anything, okay? Comment below and let me know, okay? So I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are going to ask me, oh, China, why are you cutting the carrots and the green peppers? So these are all going to go in our ground beef, okay? These are all going to go in our ground beef. Yeah. And a lot of people say Tyrone can't cook. <laughs> You're funny. You must be dreaming. Huh? I do this for a living. That's why I look the part. A lot of people on you guys, no, no offense. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube nowadays. A lot of people say do this, do that. They got all the knowledge, but they don't look the part. It doesn't make sense to me. How you, how are you telling someone to do something, but you don't look the part? In my opinion, it doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, you want to bring the camera a bit down? Just a bit down. A bit down so they can see me cutting, chopping my tomatoes. Bring it a bit down. There you go. Perfect. There you go. So we're, so, we're, so we're chopping our tomatoes right now. Like I said, guys, feel free and ask any questions if you guys got any. And these tomatoes are all going to go in the ground beef, okay? Feel free to ask any questions. But all what we want is results. That's that's my number one goal. I don't care. I don't care. Results don't lie, baby. Results don't lie. 
I get it, you have all the knowledge, but why can't you apply the knowledge? You understand what I mean? Why, why can't you? It doesn't make sense. You have all the knowledge, but you can't apply it. To me, it doesn't make sense. Anyways, so our brown rice is here. So, it's washed already, so I'm gonna boil my brown rice. Put in the rice cooker, okay? At least for maybe like 20, 20 minutes, okay? So we're gonna have the brown rice with the ground beef. So I'm finished chopping my veggies. Now I'm going straight into the ground beef. Okay guys, let's open the ground beef. Perfect. Like I said guys, feel free to ask any questions if you guys got any. Remember, all what we want is results, okay? This is the ground beef. We're gonna use like half. And guys, in the ground beef, the protein, protein in my ground beef, like, to be honest, this high protein. A lot of protein around. Let's keep it real, you guys. So hold on. Yes. While my thing is, let me put the ground beef inside my bowl. So the rest, pretty much, pretty much, you guys can put in the fridge. Yeah, you guys don't need to eat all. So now, my ground beef's inside my bowl. So now, I'm, I'm gonna put spices. So I'm gonna put a little barbecue sauce. I know a lot of people, if you watch me, you know I, I love barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna put my barbecue sauce on it. I'm gonna put my spices, just a little. And this is garlic spices, and this is dash spices. It's a little, nothing crazy, just a little. And this is my cayenne pepper. It's a little. Last but not least, my barbecue spices. Even though I added barbecue sauce, I'm, I'm still gonna add a bit of spices. It's a little. Smells good, enough, by the way. Remember, guys, feel free to comment below if you guys don't understand anything. Comment below and let me know because I'm, I'm here for y'all. So now we're done. We put all the spices in it. So now I'm just going to mix it up with my hands a bit, mix it up a bit. Just like this. Just play with it. Just play with it like how you're playing with your, 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 maybe your, your, your dog or your cat. Just play with it. Just play with it. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. We don't need nothing fancy. Just play with it. And we're not gonna add no salt. Nope. Just play with it a bit. Just play with your gains. Yeah. This, to, to keep it 100, without these foods, there wouldn't be no Tyro. I'll keep it 100. Because this food makes me. You know what I'm saying? I mean? Yeah. So now I'm done. So now, I preheated my pot, but before I put my ground beef on the pot, I'm, I'm gonna use my coconut oil spray. It's healthy, it's not oil, and results don't lie. Take notes, guys. So if you guys wanna cook this at home, it's simple. And remember, my rice is cooking. My rice, like I said, I'm cooking my rice at least for 20 minutes. So I'm cooking my brown rice for 20 minutes. So now I'm, go I'm gonna spray my coconut spray on the pot. There we go. Nice and simple. And now I'm taking my ground beef. So a lot of people are gonna ask me, oh Tyrone, so how long should I cook my ground beef? Cook it until your ground beef turns brown. That's it. I'm gonna put on the pot. Yeah. 
There you go. Simple. Nice and simple. So I'm going to mix it up a bit. So guys, so I'm going to leave it a bit to cook, at least for 20 minutes, I'll come back, and then once my uh, ground beef is cooked already, and then I'm going to put my veggies on top of my ground beef, and then I'll mix it up, okay? So enough talking, now let's go straight into the rice, and in the kitchen we have to drink water guys, it's super hot. I don't know about y'all, when I'm cooking I feel hot, I'm drained. Anyways, I want you guys to check out the hottest merch in the game. You guys can get 25% off with the discount code Fitness Addict. 25% off my whole entire store with the discount code Fitness Addict. And, all, and also my programs. Check it out. So we're going to go and check out the rice and see if the rice is cooked. And then I'll come back, okay guys? We'll stay tuned for that. And stay shredded as a mother. Stay shredded, guys. Awesome. Okay, guys, so the rice is finally done. My brown rice is done. Okay, so my uh, ground beef is still cooking. My brown rice is done. So what I normally like to do with my brown rice is I, I, I love my barbecue sauce, so I like to sprinkle barbecue sauce on it. And this is optional, so if you guys want to, you guys can put, could put barbecue sauce on your rice. That's what I don't need. So brown rice with barbecue sauce. And now, let me show you my ground beef, guys. Let me show you. Let me show you it. So first it was red, and now look. You see now it's turning brown, guys? So when it turns brown, that means it's almost red. Okay? It's almost red. Okay, look at it. It was red, and now it's brown. Remember, like I said, like it's easy to cook the ground beef. It's not that hard. So we're going to leave it at least for maybe, I'll say maybe five more minutes. And then after that, I'm going to throw in my tomatoes and then my yellow peppers on my ground beef. So guys, okay guys, so right now, finally, my ground beef is done, it's cooked. So now I'm going to take my yellow pepper and tomatoes and throw it in there. Okay guys, let me show you what I'm going to do. This is the ground beef, okay, and this is my veggies. So I'm going to just, just do that. Okay, and I'm going to throw some barbecue sauce on this, just like that, just a bit, okay. Just a bit, just like that. Perfect. That's enough. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna leave this on the stove at, at least maybe like three to, I'll say maybe three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. Three to two minutes. Okay. It's simple. So like I said, if you guys don't understand anything, comment below and let me know. And I'm gonna mix it up a bit. So if you guys want to do this, make sure your ground beef is well done cooked before you add your veggies, okay? Do not put them at the same time. I repeat, do not put your veggies and your ground beef at once, at the same time. Make sure your ground beef is cooked well done, and then after, you add your veggies. Okay guys, so we're gonna leave this to cook a bit. I'll say like for three minutes, three minutes. Okay. It's not hard. A lot of people think it's hard. They say it's hard. They seem it's hard. But that's, it's actually not hard to become a shredded motherfucker. So anyways guys. Like I said. We're waiting for that to cook a bit. The veggies to cook. So now I'm going to show you my Brussels sprouts. This is it. They're nice cooked, they're nice and cooked. 
So I'm gonna put that right here. There we go. Put that on my plate. This is it. So guys, so far we're almost done. We're almost done. Brown rice, barbecue sauce, Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts, and I'm waiting for my ground beef. It's not hard to become shredded. Your entire home's kitchen, feel free to ask questions. Like I said, listen, it all comes down to the results. That's all what it comes down to. I don't care if you're 100, if you're 50, if you're 5, if you're 15. We, we just have to eat properly and bring your A game in the gym. Make sure you guys train also hard. Okay? In the gym. So let me... I think, I think my ground beef is almost done. Yep. It is. And we don't want our veggies to be soft. Okay? Because I like my veggies like... To be honest, I like it crunchy a bit. Understand? I like it nice and crunchy. Anyways, guys, so this is what I'm having. It's simple. You want to turn the camera a bit on this side? Turn it. Yeah, perfect. It's simple. Look. Brown rice, ground beef with veggies, and my Brussels sprouts. It's simple, guys. A lot of people say it's hard to become shredded. It's actually not hard. This is what I'm having. And you guys can check my forearms. Check it out. You see the veins popping out. You know what time it is. You know I'm a shredded motherfucker. Enough talking. I I want to try this. But I'm going to try with a big spoon. Let me try this Brussels sprout. Guys. And one more thing. I know in the comments a lot of people are going to say, Tyron, this food is nasty. Guys. I stopped eating for the taste. Now I just eat for the looks. So if you guys want to look like a million bucks, you guys have to eat. Help me. It's that simple. Guys. It's your boy Tyrone, man. And don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe, and holler at your boy when you see me in the club. Mmm, 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 mmm. You guys already know it. Shredded as a motherfucker. Feel free to ask any questions if you guys got any. But this is what I'm having, okay? And I'm gonna eat this bad boy, and then I'm gonna go straight to the gym. And this is what I want you guys also to do, okay? Eat healthy. Put in it. Put in the work in the gym. And you guys will get the results. Well, I see what a lot of people do is they bring their A game in the gym, but they don't eat healthy. And they wonder why they don't get results. And the, and the reason why is because what they put in their body. It's that simple. It's your boy Tyrone. Feel free to ask any questions. And like all said, until next time, I'm gonna, guys, comment down below and let me know the next video you guys want me to cook. Whatever you guys want me to cook, let me know. And I'm definitely going to do it for you guys. But stay tuned for more cooking videos though. And make sure you guys turn on your notification bell. So anytime I post you guys will get the video. But your boy Tyrone. Until next time. And stay shredded as a motherfucker. Melt baby. Peace.